Okay, in our video series of dermatology crash course, in this video, we'll be talking about atopic dermatitis, also called as eczema. We have a case here, a nine-year-old boy presents to your clinic with the chief complaint of worsening pruritus that is affecting his sleep and school. This is a picture showing the site of pruritus. Past history is significant that patient first complained about the dry itchy skin on the flexor surface of arms and legs about two years ago. Now the symptoms are usually worse in the winters and family history shows that father also suffers from allergic diseases like allergic rhinitis and asthma. This patient was diagnosed to be a case of atopic dermatitis. How do you diagnose eczema? How do you treat atopic dermatitis? What are the clinical presentations? Today, we are going to talk about that. Atopic dermatitis. Atopic means allergy. Derma means skin. Itis means inflammation. It is the inflammation of skin that results from allergic reaction to the skin. It is an autoimmune condition where the immune system of the body attacks its own body organ skin and damages skin that results in dry, itchy skin. This is a picture showing a patient with atopic dermatitis. Look at this dry itchy skin in atopic dermatitis. Basically what happens is that certain allergens, they enter the skin. These allergens can be dust mites, these can be pollen or certain food particles that enter the skin and they are taken up by immune system. When they are taken up by immune cells, these immune cells secrete antibodies called as IgE antibodies. These IgE antibodies that are produced from first exposure to certain allergen, these IgE antibodies bind the surfaces of mast cells and basophils. Next time on second exposure or subsequent exposure when allergen enters the body, these allergens are taken up by these antibodies and they signal the cells to degranulate. They signal the cells to rupture. These cells degranulate resulting in release of inflammatory mediators. These inflammatory mediators destroy the surface of skin, damage the skin resulting in loss of water resulting in dry itchy skin. So this is the pathophysiology behind atopic dermatitis. In infants, it usually affects face and patients have facial lesion and it also mainly affects scalp. Other than that, it is patchy everywhere else, but mainly it affects face and scalp. In older children, it usually affects the flexor surfaces of the elbows, of the elbows and the knees. So it mainly affects the flexor surfaces in older children. Lesions get worse with the change in weather, with cigarette smoke, with mold or even emotional stress. These are the exacerbating factors for atopic dermatitis or eczema. It usually starts as red itchy skin that becomes a blister and that blister ruptures and heals with scarring. That scarring is called as lichenification, a leather-like appearance to the skin. Atopic dermatitis or eczema is associated with other autoimmune diseases like asthma, allergic rhinitis, and food allergies. Diagnosis in, is mainly clinical. Patients are clinically diagnosed with their clinical symptoms, but you can also find elevated IgE and eosinophil indicative of allergic reaction. Treatment of atopic dermatitis, the most important thing is to avoid the trigger. Usually patient knows that what thing can exacerbate his condition and he has to avoid that. They should wear cotton clothes, soft clothes. They should avoid hot water because it further causes the skin to get dry. They should avoid using drying soaps and certain detergents. They should clip their nails so that their nails are short and they do not scratch their lesions. They should use emulsions and moisturizers. Now, if these interventions are not enough to control the symptoms, then patient needs to be started on topical steroids. Steroid is an immunosuppressant that suppresses the immune system and reduces the allergic reaction. Other than that, topical immunosuppressants like tacrolimus can also be used. Antihistamines are used and Antibiotics are used to prevent infection. When the patient scratches his skin, that scratching of the skin exposes the skin to invasion of bacteria. So antibiotics are used in the case of infection. In summary, 
Atopic dermatitis is an allergic reaction to skin that results in dry, itchy skin. Allergens enter the skin, they are taken up by immune system, IgE is secreted, that IgE binds to the allergen next time and it degranulates the mast cells and basophil resulting in the release of inflammatory mediators. Atopic dermatitis is usually present on the face and the scalp in infants and in the elder children it is usually present in the flexor surfaces of the elbows and knees. It starts as a red itchy rash and it heals with scarring. Diagnosis is mainly clinical and treatment is to avoid trigger and doing all these things that are mentioned. If the symptoms are not controlled, then patient needs to be started on steroids, topical immunosuppressants, antihistamine and antibiotics. If you liked my video, please click on the subscribe button and check out my other videos on dermatology crash course. Link of those videos is given in the description below. Thank you very much.